What's up everyone, Techie Josh here, and in today's video we will be comparing the Motorola Moto G4 Play versus the iPhone 5S. Alright, so let's get started. As you can see how much bigger the Moto G4 Play is compared to the 5S. 5S only has a 4 inch screen with 326 pixels per inch, and the Moto G4 Play has a 5 inch screen at 294 pixels per inch. So let's go ahead and turn them both on, like so, let's move them down a little bit, see what I'm trying to do here as, or for the background. Alright so both of these phones are up and running, so let's do the usual boot down test. Alright, I would have to assume it looks like the 5S is already turned off. Apple seems to be much more optimized mm -hmm. for, you know, a lot of things. Okay, the Moto is finally shut down now. Let's go ahead and boot them up. Let me see how am I going to do, let's see how I'm going to do this. Three, two, one. and they're off. Is it wrong that I'm trying to be as good as I can? And as you can see, it's making the background pretty dark even though there's like a hell of a lot of light in here. I feel like I'm, I'm wrong for trying to be as good as I can. Lenovo. So the 5S is booted up already and it's now ready to use. Far longer than the uh, Moto and now the Moto is booted up. 5S connected first to the internet. Moto has not yet. There we go, it's now connected. Alright, so let's go ahead and do some system apps. Let's go, or let's um, go, yeah, go to calculator. About the same, if not the 5S beat that, that, that one. Calendar. 5S. You can see it's Google Calendar. Photos. Google Photos on the, uh, Moto and stock photos on the 5S, the 5S won that one, camera, this is important now, 5S like a split second before the Moto, very interesting, the camera flip buttons are basically placed about the same but they're just on opposite sides, Moto is on uh, lower left whereas the 5S is lower right. In terms of the frame rate, you can see they're both very smooth and they look really good. But as you can see, the color is different. See, the, the 5S looks more natural compared to the uh, Moto. So, yeah, just goofing off right here. Let's go to Google Maps on the Moto and Stock Maps on the iPhone. Now, like I said, these are system apps. Hmm, I would say that was a tie. Let's go to clock. The 5S won that one. There we go. These both look very nice. These interfaces both look very crisp and simplistic. I don't think the Moto has a weather app, so let's skip that. Let's skip stocks. Um, do we have a note app on here? <coughs> Excuse me. No, we don't. So let's uh, let's go to App Store on the 5S and Play Store on the uh, Moto. Let's 
Looks like the Moto won that one. Now let's go to settings. About the same, if not exactly the same. Alright, now let's go and try some third party apps. Let's try Snapchat. Moto. Uh, beat it. Beat the 5S. 5S a couple seconds behind. Let's do kick. Moto instantly. Pandora. You can see the Moto is no slouch. Copyright. Anyway, there you go. As you can see, the Moto is no slouch to when it, or when it comes to opening apps. Now let's try Instagram. It's proven to be very fast. Shout out to uh, Roadkill Show for being the, at the top of my feed. Now let's try Messenger. Obviously the Moto. No doubt the Moto won that one. Now let's try actually let's let's go ahead and do the uh the dock now phone. Uh Moto opened it faster but the five S opened the keypad first. Let's do uh, Verizon messages on all right, matter of fact. Alright, here's message messages. Can't talk right now apparently. That was a mistap. Messages on the G4 Play and stock message or iMessage on the iPhone. Uh, I have to say the 5S won that one. I don't have Chrome, but I do have Safari on the 5S, so let's go ahead and test that and load up the usual uh, site. Well, it's already loading. Let's go ahead and test The Verge. But first I have to um, go to a different web page really fast. Okay. No thanks. Alright, now let's go to The Verge. Alright, there we go. Three, two, one. Oop, that was a mistap. But it looks like the 5S won because it registered the the tap first. But the Moto is no slouch. It is still loading. The 5S is already done loaded. Both handle flash pretty well, but as you as you can see, 5S is just is much smoother scrolling. Because Apple devices are optimized for this type of thing. As for fast scrolling, since the Moto has a bigger screen, there is more on on the page. And as you can see, how much faster the Moto is. One really cool trick, if you guys didn't know, if that is that if you're like all the way down on the web page on iOS, not Android iOS I'm all the way down here tap the clock and you'll go back up to the top instantly quick tip let's go to Gmail on the Google uh, Moto G4 Play what was I thinking and mail on the iPhone and that was a mistap once again my apologies The uh, uh, iPhone opened it up first. Let's go to contacts. I'm just all over the place at this point because I don't realize what apps are on which device. 
exactly the same I would say now let's go to YouTube how can we not for how can we forget YouTube so as you can clearly see the moto is definitely no slouch when it comes to loading any app shout out to Nick Ackerman for being at the top of my YouTube feed with his G5 Plus review full in-depth review shout out to Psych for being my being my top second um, result in my feed you see how different uh, platforms are my videos my videos there you go and the last app we will test is battery doctor three two one now you should know that I don't like to open this app unless my phones are charging so as you can see the 5s is actually or actually opened it up first but you will see that it's not optimized or not upgraded or updated I should say on the 5s this is how it's supposed to look like on the moto has the percentage inside the battery and a lot more other information developer of the app needs to update it on iOS for it to work as for multitasking if I stand corrected the 5s only has one gigabyte of RAM the Moto G4 has two gigabytes of RAM so these are laid out completely differently for some reason maps same yeah these are all laid out completely differently it's like I'm trying to look for the calculator it's not showing up very strange what about calendar? Is it showing up on the Moto? No. Extremely weird. Why is that? Is photos on the Moto? No pun intended. Did not mean to rhyme. Okay, something strange is going on here. It can only hold a certain number of apps as far as I can see. Uh, what is on the Moto? Clock is. The 5S held it open a little better. You, you didn't see that much refreshing. App Store and Play Store. Exactly the same time. Settings. Same time there. Snapchat. So these, both of these devices are proven to be quite reliable in today's day and age. Uh, kick. Same time. Very nice. Pandora. Yeah, these are no joke. These are actually very well performing devices. Instagram 5s looked like it held it open longer. Oh, it had to update. So because of that, the Moto actually won because it had to update. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or any social media for that matter, as usual, my links will be down below in the description. Messenger about the same. Phone. I would have to call that a tie. Messages. 5S. And for the last app, let's go ahead and test Chrome and Safari. And let's see which one held open the Verge longest. Then that should wrap up this video. 5S apparently did not have to reload 
if you hear the differences, that means like if you hear the audio change, that means I'm moving from one side to the moving to one side of the camera. So the 5s actually you know held it open the longest. Pinch zooming, obviously on the 5s is much more responsive. This is flash content. They both handle it somewhat well, but the 5s actually just handles it a lot better than the Moto. Moto is rather smooth as you can see here, but you do notice some choppiness. There is no clear alt button on both of these. You can do two finger gestures on the 5S as you can see here. Very nice. You can even do more if you can. More, you can even input more fingers to, to uh, clear them out. Yeah, iPhone is not activated. We know that. But alright guys, that looks like that's going to do for me in this video. And I'll see you again in the next one.